The Flash's 9 is going to be a massive Arrowverse nostalgic and, you know, reunion. <laughs> uh, it's what it seems like, because we have at least 18 guest stars that we know of, and they're currently filming 9-10. And there could undoubtedly be a ton more guest stars that we don't even know about that are behind the scenes. Like Zoom, Grad, or Eobar Thawne, if they're going to bring them back. There are a ton of characters that we, or even Cisco, on top of that list. But I want to go over everyone that we know right now. There will undoubtedly be more that gets announced through trailers that come out during season 9. Or, you know, even when they're filming 9, 11, 12, and 13. You know, which I don't really know what episode they're filming right now. It's either 9, 10, or 9, 11. But we will undoubtedly see more people coming back, is my point. And it's easily the most guest stars ever appearing in one season uh, of a DC TV show, period. I, I don't see any other show topping how many guest stars have been in The Flash Season 9 compared to any other season. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So, here is, here's someone that we know is the Prince Season 9 right now. Dreamer, which we know is connected to Iris in 904, I think, or 90, no, it's 906, sorry, because that's the Red Death. It was either 906 or 907, I'm pretty sure it was, was when Dreamer's coming back. Um, or, well, it could be 911, or 912. It was, it was either following the Red Death story arc, or it's following, like, in the last episodes of the season, or the series. It was one of the two. But, well, anyways, it's connected to Iris. <laughs> Pipe Piper, Hotness, Goldface, all connected to Barry, uh, and the Red Death story arc. So you're gonna Red Death, Red Death and Batwoman. It's the same person playing them, but it's two different characters. So, <laughs> Captain Boomerang, OG Rainbow Raider, the one that we got in season one, the first Air Force crossover. Becky Sharp, the Fiddler. I still don't know if it's the same actress that played her in season four. I haven't really looked at the two yet. I'm pretty sure it is, but we'll find out when the episode airs. Eddie Fawn, who we know is in 910, could be the next viewer's avatar that we're doing with in the last few episodes of season 9. Could not be. I don't know. We'll find out. Murmur, Wally West, John Diggle, Budwork, Oliver Queen, Henry Allen, Nora Allen, David Singh, and you can debate whether you want to count this as a guest star or not, but we know Joe is in 910 alongside Eddie, Nora, uh, Henry, and David. Uh, Joe's in that episode. Now, we don't know when Joe's actual last episode of being a series regular will be. So, if you want to count Joe as a guest star, you can do that. I'm not really going to do that because he's been on the show since the pilot. <laughs> it's not full fledged force. You know, to say that he's a series regular until like 9 10 and he drops out. Dead or 9 06 and then he comes back for guest appearance in 9 10 and then the series finale comes back one last time. But that is 18 confirmed people right there. That is a lot. <laughs> and four of them are in one episode. And probably seven or eight of them are in, like, one episode alone. So a lot of these guest stars are in, like, one episode each. Like, I'm assuming, like, 903 or 904 will be when Pipe Piper, Hotness, Goldface, Red Death, Batwoman, Captain Boomerang, and OG Rainbow Raider are all in the same episode at the same time. Um, Oliver, Budwork, Dick, Wally, they're on one episode at a time. Henry, Nora, Singh, Eddie, Joe, that's five, all in 910 that we know of. So all these guest stars are piled into one episode each. It's not like one episode is one guest star. It's like six, like four to six at a time is what it seems like. Now, there are rumored ones. Zoom, the guy who played Zoom, okay, Teddy Sears, and the voice of Zoom, uh, Tony Todd. I did a full video over this talking about why he's rumored. You don't know yet. You can go watch the video, you know, support the channel. <laughs> but I do talk about why he's most likely coming back. Because it, both the actor and the voice actor... Tease that, and I talk about it in that video. Grodd, who I said for the last, like, month, ever since we got that promo, when Barry's in that jungle, 
looking upward, and everyone's assuming that it's out for whatever stupid reason. Why would Albert be in a random jungle on Earth Prime make zero sense when he's a specter? No, and that's not Lee and you. The trees on Lee and you do not line up with that damn jungle. With that jungle, the trees in the jungle do line up with are the episode where Barry and Gr where Barry's in Grodd's mind and they merged. They became one in the season six episode, Grodd Friend of Me. And we all thought Jesse would be in it because it was named Grodd Friend of Me, like God Friend of Me, the name that the actor who plays Jesse is in. But nonetheless, <laughs> that's the same jungle. The exact same jungle. So that is most likely Grodd in this one of these episodes. So he is most likely going to be in season 9, but we don't know yet. We're not going to know until we see him. Or he's in a, like a promo for 902 or 903. Assuming that's in 902. <laughs> um, which, you know what? It could be in 901 because of time loop. Maybe Grodd can, like, his mind goes past the time loop. So Barry goes to Grodd. That would be a cool way of bringing Grodd in. I'd buy that. Although it's all West Allen's under his own house. <laughs> Uh, Cisco, everyone wants Cisco back. I want Cisco back. I think it'd be a good way to end Cisco's character off. Eobarthon, Tom or Matt. I prefer Tom starting up and saying all this time. Especially after season 8. I loved what they did with Thon season 8. I know a lot of people didn't. But season 8 Thon is my favorite version of River Slash, period. Matt is good at the role. It's just Tom brings a whole new scarier level to Thon like Zoom was in season 2. And the fact that he's so brought that his Nate is iconic, legendary, and we're never going to get it again. So if they do bring Eobarthon back, which, let's be real, they should. Because <laughs> it, it wouldn't be the final episode of the series if we don't get like one massive final fight between Barry and Thon. It's why he was in season 8 because they thought season 8 would be the last. They wanted to honor that, but it obviously didn't, wasn't the, end of the final season. Which I will debate when the, season, when the series is done. It's just they really should have been the last season. And on, on some levels. Because I'm glad we're getting Oliver back. We didn't get him back to season 8. So for those type of levels, I'm glad we're getting season 9. But at the same time, when it comes to a hardcore Flash season. Where it's like purely Flash centric. Season 8 should have been the last season. Because season 9 is not going to top season 8. You know, where, when it comes to Flash content. When it comes to Barry and I, or someone's going to top season 8, but like when it comes to actually Barry being the Flash, I have a feeling we'll come close to season 8. Another one is Jay Garrick. Now, John Wilson Chip has been, he literally said it a few months ago that he will be back for season 9 to Flash. I wasn't expecting him to return as Henry Allen, I was expecting him to return as Jay Garrick. Now, he could still return as Jay Garrick, we just don't know. The actor is obviously open to returning. I mean, he, the guy showed up in Stargirl series finale, you know, and I, I don't see it playing out to where he's not in the Flash series finale. I don't see that being the case at all. Um, the other one is more West Down, aka okay, Excess. She, I would be generally surprised if she doesn't show up, considering she's more flexible than Jordan Fisher, who plays Bart Allen Impulse, who I also think will be in the, at least once this season. But XS, I think, will 100% show up, if not once, maybe a few times throughout the season. Because she is so flexible with time. And purely for the fact that what we get with her, like in the A15 and a 20, I think with the two episodes XS showed up in, or no, 8, 19, and 8, uh, 18, right? I think, or no, not 8, 18, because Iris wasn't in that one. 8, 19, 8, 20, 8, 15, I think were the two episodes where, uh, where three where XS showed up, and then 8, 19, 8, 20 was when Bar and XS both showed up together. Nonetheless, I think it would be really depressing if those two kids weren't in the final season because they've been in the past two seasons repeatedly and brought up repeatedly. <laughs> it wouldn't make much sense for them to not show up now, especially when Iris is resuming going to be pregnant in three months, assuming that time is going to get destroyed, which it probably will. Let's be real. 
But again, assuming Iris gets pregnant this season, it'd be a little bit weird if Nora and Bart didn't show up. So, <laughs> that's the whole thing. But, I mean, that's, like I said earlier, 18 confirmed cameos this is nine to Flash. And those quote-unquote cameos, I mean, they're a full-on episode appearance. It's not like a one-off. Like one, two scenes, it's several. And I mean, for Hotness, Goldface, Pipe Piper, and uh, Chill Lame, who's a serious regular, but I'm mentioning him in this, they're going to play a role in the Red Death story arc. Hotness, Goldface, Pipe Piper, and uh, I think I'm forgetting someone. Batwoman will all be fighting Red Death with Barry in the field for whatever reason. I'm assuming there's a good reason there. But. Or at least what it looks like fighting. It could be a whole different scenario. But if that is the case, they're going to be playing a role in 905 and possibly 902 and 901 and possibly 903 and 904 or just 902. I would be a little bit surprised if they all appear in 901, but 902 seems like a very high possibility of Pipe Piper, Hotness, Goldface all showing up. They Based on the description that we got for 902, which is the episode that Red Death shows up, which is the episode where we deal with Caitlyn's story arc. And also probably the episode where Cecile most likely dies. <laughs> or on some level dies, or maybe loses her powers or something. I don't know. Something's happening to Seal. I don't know what, but it's going to happen. Um, we know she don't die because she's been posting set photos nonstop for the past like week or so, so... <laughs> That's kind of out the window as much as I'd love to see her die. It's, uh, uh <laughs> I think we'd all be happy if Cecile died die in the show. Let's be real at this point. Um, but that's, it's a lot of people showing up. And, again, it's probably the most guest stars a DC TV show or, like, anything superior related. It's probably the most guest stars that's ever appeared in a superhero thing like ever so it's very interesting that they're going down this route like I said season 8 was like an O to hardcore Flash fans to the fans who've been wanting Barry to be faster to be confident to be powered up Eric Walsh has been setting that up since 6 no matter what your opinions are the OG like you know not OG but since 6 since 7 season 8 it was one massive story arc. You know, it was spread out throughout like six story arcs. Or seven? Seven. Because we had Death Storm. I've got Death Storm. Seven story arcs. It was in a whole one giant lead up to Barry actually being the Flash and him being the fastest man alive for the first time in the series. Taking on villains that he can't stop in one episode. Like Despero, Despero, which he couldn't even touch, and Thawne, that came back with much more powerful powers, and the Knight of Forces, that introduced Fast Track and Matt Thawne, that gave him a good ending, kind of, <laughs> but also it brought him Fast Track, like I said, which was, honestly, I want to see Fast Track for a while, so the fact that they even brought her in was amazing, and the suit was very comic key. Um, but, which, you know, comic actor suits are amazing, but it is another whole thing to be, like, you know, season nine is a whole new story arc. It's going to be a whole new lead up to the series finale. I wouldn't like it if Eric Wallace had said, oh yeah, what happened to season eight? We're vetoing that, and here's season nine, and Barry's slow as dog crap. I understand why he would do that, but Eric Walsh needs to understand that this is sort of flash. This is Nate set up a confident OP as hell Barry Allen. That needs to be continued in season nine. I don't care if it's, you know, Red Death is a powerful villain to make Barry that powerful. You know, this is the villains that we need. Blood work, I don't know if it's going to be that powerful. Considering Martian Manhunter took him down in two minutes. 
And Barry, who is undoubtedly more powerful than Martian Manhunter, needs Oliver, Wally, and Dick to take him down? No. <laughs> so unless Bloodwork is, like, teaming up with someone or he's, like, really powerful, and he just got nerfed in Earthrime Comics in that 2049 timeline, then fine. But, and I really hope they show up Bloodwork actually, like, being really powerful here and not, you know... Barry going from Nina doing it all on his own in season six to needing three people helping him. One who's presumed dead. Um, you know, <laughs> so that's going to be something. But, or how he comes back at least. But my point is, is that having all these guest stars isn't a horrible thing. But it can also be a bad thing if not done well. And for the last few weeks, well, it's been going on for a few months, but since Oliver, Wally, Dig, Budwork, Henry, Nora, Eddie, and David, and Joe were all back in 909, 910, you know, at least for some of them, like 909 and 910 for the other half, it, ever since we've known that, I've been seeing more and more people saying that they're really skeptical that this season will be just making episodes out of thin air, not continuing any story on the system, and there are any to continue here. And, you know, just to bring in guest stars. Now, here's how Eric Wallace can do it correctly. You have Right Death, that's one whole story arc, you end it. That is the last major story arc of the season. The Negative Viewers Avatar might start in 910. But, like I said in our video, that if full video one, but it's confirmed that Eddie is back in the show, 9.10 and 9.11 may be a two-parter, and then 9.12 and 9.13 might just be a two-hour finale of the show. It, it will wrap up the next year's Avatar story arc, and like the first hour and the second hour is where everyone's at and whatever they want to do with time travel, time skips, and all that. They can easily pull that off if they want to. It does not need to be a two-part finale for 9, 12, and 9, 13. It doesn't need to be that way. So, the best way they can all pull this off is if it really, truly does just make the stories all work. And if they manage to not end just random stories with zero reason whatsoever. So, that is the best way that they can make it all work. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.